Okay, next stage, we are going to do a hip exam. We're gonna do a couple joint exams. We're gonna start with a hip exam. Uh, we're gonna do a shoulder exam for you guys and, uh, and a neck so that you can see one upper extremity joint, one lower extremity joint, and uh, one spinal joint. So again, I would start by asking my consent. Uh, I'm gonna do this once for the hip. I'm not gonna do consent again for the shoulder and again for the spine because I'm, I'm sure you guys can, can figure that out. Okay, so I would like to do something called a movement exam. So I am going to, or joint exam, I'm gonna bring um, your shoulder into several different ranges, such as above your head, behind your back. We're gonna start with you doing it yourself, which will give you the most amount of control. You stop the second that you feel pain, um, and please let me know when you feel pain, even if you can handle it, even if it's something that you're like, you know what, I can handle the pain, I would still like you, you to let me know and, and stop if you don't feel comfortable at any time. Um, and then the second uh, part of it, I will be taking your arm and bringing them through the various ranges, the same ones as active. And then the third part of the exam, we're gonna just do some resisted testing. So you'll be pushing up against my strength and we'll, we'll see how strong those muscles in your shoulders are. Um, and uh, we'll be doing this just to see, it gives me a better idea as to what's going on with your shoulder. We'll be able to see what ranges are limited, what muscles might be getting affected with that that will allow me to provide a more effective and significantly more specific treatment plan. Again, areas might be a little bit tender, they might be a little bit uncomfortable um, or painful, especially when we start recreating your ranges uh, that are, have been uncomfortable for you, but at any time that you wanna stop, you can absolutely stop. Do you have any questions? No. Are you okay with us proceeding? Yes. Fantastic. I know I say fantastic a lot. Believe me, I'm aware. It's gonna keep happening. <laughs> We're gonna start with your unaffected side first, uh, but in this case, just because we're gonna do a demo, we're just gonna do one side so that, uh, so that you get the idea. So I'm gonna have you uh, move that shoulder, and I will just get you to copy my movements, okay? So I'm gonna get you to bring your arm up and above your head. Perfect, and back as far back as you can, good. And then up out to the side. Excellent, and then down to about, yeah, perfect, and then across your body. Excellent, and then I want you to bend your elbow, come all the way under, good, and then up the other way. Excellent. Okay, and now I will have you have a seat. And I just want you to relax your arm as much as possible, and I'm going to bring you through those same ranges. You let me know if anything is painful or uncomfortable, okay? So come up. It's a flexion and add in that little bit of overpressure so I can see how her joint capsule is performing in, in flexion. Again, into extension. Just relax your arm. Good. And when you do abduction, make sure you externally rotate their shoulder, otherwise you won't be able to get them into full abduction. A little bit of overpressure. Abduction. Good. Internal rotation. And external rotation. Good. So I was very closely watching her face to make sure that nothing was painful for her. You do not have to ask, is there pain with that? After every single range, uh, that can become a bit redundant. So just make sure you're paying really, really close attention to your patient. Uh, and and uh, hopefully you don't have to say, is there pain with that? 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 Because that, let's face it, that gets annoying for everybody. <laughs> okay, the next thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna do some resisted. So I'm just gonna put you into a range and just don't let me move you, okay? So just push for five seconds. Two, three, four, five. Fantastic, and relax. And back, and push. One, two, three, four, five. Good, and here. Push, one, two, three, four, five. Excellent, I'll just push into my hand. One, two, three, four, five. And the other way, two, three, four, five, good. And last one, just push into my hand here. One, two, three, four, five, fantastic. So she doesn't have any issues, so we were just able to go through any range at, at any time, which was great. 
But if she had a specific issue, if there was a painful range for her, then it's incredibly, incredibly important that we change that up a little bit just to make sure that the painful range is always done last. So if I know that it's painful for her to come out into abduction, that's gonna be the last thing that I check with active. It's gonna be the last thing that I check with passive. It's gonna be the last thing that I check with resisted as well. But if your patient doesn't have any painful ranges, then we're just going through it for the sake of practice. Just make sure that you, you hit all the ranges. That's the most important thing. All right, now we're gonna do the hip, the actual hip, not the hip. And then I did the shoulder. I'm not doing it again. I'm not doing the video again, it makes the point. <laughs> but I do know what a hip is and what a shoulder is. I've been an RMT for a decade. I did learn that at some point. Okay, now we are going to go through the ranges of the hip, real hip, this one. Okay, so I'm going to get you to copy my movements again. We're gonna do uh, that side of your leg. So I am going to get you to bring your leg forward as far as you can with your knee straight, and now bend your knee, and bring it up into your chest, good. And then come all the way back as far as you can. You can hold on to the table if you need to, good. And then out to the side, and across your body. And then bring your knee up to about 90 degrees, good. And then kick your foot out, and bring your foot in, great. So that is active. For passive, I'm going to have her lay on her side, just because this gets much easier when they're laying on their side. There are a few times where you cannot do this. For example, if her left hip was injured having an issue, I cannot have her lay on her left hip. So we'll do this twice, once in side lying, and then we'll do it again with her being in prone and supine so you can see both. But uh, it is much easier to have them in side lying, if at all possible. So I will have you lay on your side with your right hip up and facing the camera so everyone can see your beautiful face. Excellent. Okay, so I'm just going to get you to relax your leg. And again, I'm going to keep an eye on her face. Even from here, I'm keeping an eye on her face. You don't have to look at me. I'm just keeping an eye on you. <laughs> okay, just relax. And then bring this into extension. Good. And abduction. Functional adduction. You can bring the leg back a little bit. Drop it off the back of the table. Good. And then I'm going to do internal rotation and external rotation. Great. And then from this position, I can go right into resist it. So I'm just going to have you push against my hand right here. Good. One, two. Three, four, five. Should bring your leg back a little bit and push. One, two, three, four, five. Good. And push up into my hand here. Two, three, four, five. Good. And push into my hand there. Two, three, four, five. Good. And now don't let me move you. I'm just gonna bring you up. Good. Two, three, four, five. Other way. Two, three, four, five. Good. So that is what it looks like in side lying. If we did it again in supine and prone, I will get you to lay supine, please, to start. So, put your legs straight. You can actually slide up further towards the head of the table. There you go. <laughs> again, keeping an eye on her face, if at all possible. So just relax your legs so I can bring it up. And then I will get you to turn over. Remember the leg has now moved. It's on the other side of the table now. I'm just gonna get you, bring it back as far as we can. Is that uncomfortable at all? No. Good. Checked in because I can't see her face. So now I want you to, uh, I'm just gonna get you to bring your leg up. I'm just gonna get you to hold that there as best you can for five, four, three, two, one. Good and relax. You can add extra pressure to this, but the weight of the leg and the weight of gravity is really enough to do that, that five seconds. It becomes extremely difficult 
to hold that leg there with additional pressure uh, when you are doing resisted in, in prone. And then I will get you to turn over one more time. And I will do the rest of my resisted from supine. So I'm not, I'm flipping her back and forth as few times as, as possible. Pushing your leg up and push into my hand here. Two, three, four, five. Good. And out to the side and push. One, two, three, four, five. And inside. One, two, three, four, five. Good. And hold that there and don't let me move you. Two, three, four, five. Good. And there, don't let me move you. Two, three, four, five. All right, and there is a hip exam. All right, we are going to do some active range of motion of the neck, uh, and then I will have her supine to do passive and, and resisted. But for active, I definitely need her seated. Um, passive can also not be done seated. We really do have to have this in, in two different stages. Just like with the hip, we had her standing for active, and then we had her, her uh, laying down for passive and resisted. Uh, the, neck would be, the neck would be the same. Okay, so I'm just going to get you to mimic my movements. We're going to start by bringing your chin down towards your chest as far as you can. Excellent. And then back up to neutral. And then head all the way back as far as you can. Good. And back to neutral. And then ear to shoulder. Good. And the other way. Good. And back up to neutral. And then rotate like your shoulder checking in a car. Excellent. And the other way. Fantastic. All right, all done active, and then we will move on to passive will be done in supine. All right, so we are moving on to passive uh, cervical range of motion. So she's already crawling her shoulders up to the end of the table, and I didn't even ask her to. What a great body. I'm going to get you to slide up just a little bit more so your shoulders are fully off the table. Perfect. Still feel supported? Mm -hmm. Good. So watch my hand placement with her head. I have broad, broad contact at the back of her head and broad contact on the side of her head because I don't at any point want her to feel uncomfortable. So I'm going to start with some flexion. I'm going to do side flexion. I'm just going to get you to relax your head a little bit more if you can. Good. Other side flexion. Gonna do rotation, again, really broad contact on the side of her head so that she feels supported the whole time. Good. Make sure your fingers are not in their ear. No one likes that. Okay, switching hands. And rotation the other way. All right, I'm gonna bring your head back into extension. If you feel uncomfortable or if you feel dizzy at all, you let me know, okay? Watch my hand contact again. I've got one hand underneath the base of her skull, but this other hand is going to come up onto the top of her skull because I'm bringing her into full, full, full extension. Good. Full extension. And then back up. All right, and I will get you to slide down towards your feet so your head back on the table. Excellent. All right, that is passive. Okay, now we are going to do resisted range of motion for the cervical spine. I'm going to have her continue to just lay supine so that she doesn't have to keep sitting up, laying down, sitting up, laying down just for the sake of one joint exam. Throughout the entire of Hopner's, I'll have her move around enough. So let's try to keep this as simple as possible. So I'm going to start by just getting her to bring your chin to your chest and just push up against my hand here. Two, three, four, five, and relax. Good. That doesn't require a lot of pressure because there's also gravity playing a factor just like with extension of the hip. And I'm going to get her to go into some side flexion and just push back to neutral. Two, three, four, five. Good. And the other way. Push. Two, three, four, five. Excellent. And then I'm going to rotate her a little bit and push back to neutral again. One, two, three, four, five. Good. And back to neutral, two, three, four, five. Excellent, now for extension, I'm just gonna get her to push her head into the back of my hand. Two, three, four, five. 
Fantastic. And we are done with our cervical range of motion. Excellent.